I think we're live. All right, so basically it's uh, me, CJ, Hunter, Brandon, and we're going to give you guys some March Madness advice. Uh, we're actually going to make a blank bracket. Um, and so I don't we know if you guys can see that. But, um... Yeah, Brandon's got it right now. Uh, we all have to agree, which is going to be difficult, and pick a bracket. Uh, and also hopefully help you guys out along the way. In making I, I think it'll be interesting. To It'll definitely be interesting. see the different opinions and views on each team in each game. Sure. Yep. All right. So um, let's just get right into it. We'll start with uh, Virginia versus UMBC. Golden Puffin. Pretty pretty easy. Um, uh, UMBC is gonna win. Uh, Probably, I think so. Yeah. Uh, you just gotta believe in the Golden Puppies. Uh, <laughs> all right. You know? We're all Virginia for this one. No is six. That, uh, that one guy who like scores all their points, I think. Um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, uh, UVA is gonna win. Easily. Yeah. All right. So this next one is hard because uh, it's an eight nine, which means it's very close. Cre- Creighton and Kansas State. Who do you guys have? Uh, I I think Creighton will win. Personally, I pick I, Creighton too. I think Creighton will win. Yeah, I got Creighton. I, I had Kansas State at, like, first, but I switched it to Creighton. All right, cool. We all agree so far. Kentucky-Davidson, that's the 12-5 matchup. It could get tricky. Uh, Davidson won the A-10. I think – I honestly think Kentucky is going to stick it out against Davidson. Yeah. Uh, they looked pretty good in the SEC tournament, and they're – both of these teams are peaking right now, but Kentucky has way more athletes, so. Yeah. yeah. I hope Davidson gets barrel stuff. Oh, yeah, he knocked out uh, Rhode Island. All right, so Arizona and Buffalo. Uh, I really like Arizona, so oh, yeah. I can agree about that one, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Arizona's just going to butt, butt, Buffalo, dude. Arizona <laughs> high-key might go to the Elite Eight. Oh, they usually go. I am going way farther than that. But anyway. Yeah, um, no, I'm just saying because eventually you're going to have to f- go against uh, Virginia. If Yeah, that's the tough one. Yeah. <laughs> But have, we'll get to that later. I have Virginia we'll get to that later. Are we, gonna this, are we gonna do this by division like southeast, midwest, all that? Or are we just gonna go sixty four thirty two? I think we're just gonna go sixty four thirty two. All right. Um so the Arizona game, Arizona's winning? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we all got Arizona before. Popular upset pick is Loyola Chicago over Miami. Loyola Chicago has a bunch of seniors. Um I know they're a pretty good defensive team and that they're old, and that's about it, but that's enough for me to pick them over Miami. What do you guys think? Um, I struggle picking this one because – Yeah. Oh, I've seen their stats. It's just – Yeah, that's the thing. It's like uh, I know there's going to be some double-digit seeds in here, and I felt like that was one of the uh, – One of the upsets. Yeah, one of the more probable upsets. I picked Miami, but I, I think what like I don't I don't have a problem picking either team just because it might go either way. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what do you think we should do? I guess CJ's the tiebreaker. Is he here right now? Yeah. I'm just listening. Uh Loyal Chicago or Miami, you're the tiebreaker. Man, I have Loyal Chicago, but I feel like Miami is going to make a statement. That is true. I feel like once you're on, it's pretty much guaranteed to lose to a low seed. How, how did they do in their conference like tournament, though, is the thing? Uh, Miami? Yeah. They um, they didn't do anything too crazy. I mean, one second. I actually have it right here. Uh, the UNC. Yeah. Okay. So they made it, what, to uh, – Semifinals. They lost the first game they played. Oh, they nice. they got the double bye because they were a three seed. Yeah. First against North Carolina, they lost. They're the team that uh, so like they played North Carolina right before the AC uh tournament, and North Carolina Joel Berry went in, shot a three, drained it to tie it up, and then Miami went down as the time expired and drilled a three to win it. So they did beat UNC once before the tournament, but then. Nah, give us Loyola Chicago. We need some upsets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, All right, Tennessee versus Wright State. I have Tennessee. I really like Tennessee's coach. He's one of the best coaches in the country. But I also have Tennessee. All right. What about everybody else? Yeah, but Tennessee should break them. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right. Uh, Nevada, Texas. I've gone back and forth a lot on this one. Um, I actually have Texas winning. Yeah, same. Texas has a Texas is big man oriented, and Nevada is like guard oriented. So Texas has that good white guy. I don't know his name, and then Mo Bamba, and uh, they got some really good bigs. And then Nevada's got really good guards. I think. Yeah, yeah, they got really good guards. So like, the question is, who who is the higher scoring team per game? Like, no. who's more offensive? Oh. Is the question. Uh, let me check real quick. Nevada is the yeah, lot. Nevada I feel like has this game, pretty- it's going to be a good offense against a good defense because, like you said, uh, Nevada's got good guards, but Texas. Texas can control the tempo and can control the. Uh, yeah. The inside. But, I mean, this game, I feel like you can flip a coin on this game, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, okay. I have no. Name- no, but just because of their stats that I've seen and the points scored. It could be another double digit to advance, and there's always a couple that do. Yeah. Every year, so, are we good for Texas or are we going to go Nevada? Yeah, I like Texas. All right. Yeah. All right. Cincinnati, Georgia State. Georgia State beat Baylor last time they were in the tournament. I don't know if you guys watched it. Honestly, that. though, I, I got to go with Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah. Cincinnati. That's a. That's a tough team with a great defense. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, now with Xavier, uh, I just, I'm just going to click Xavier real quick. Move yeah. On. yeah. The only 116 seed that's in discussion we'll get to later. Um, yep. Missouri versus Florida State. I have Missouri. Missouri. Um, Missouri. Michael Porter Jr. And I feel like even if my, yeah, I know he's just coming back now and like he isn't playing cra- as well as he can because he's still, like, recovering and getting into the flow of things. But, like, the energy that he gave his team, you could definitely see it in the SEC tournament. Everybody on Missouri played better when he got back. Um, and Florida State's kind of limped through the bottom half of their season, in my opinion. But Florida State has a lot more athletes than Missouri. Yeah. Um... <laughs> And then they did lose – Florida State did lose first round of the ACC tournament to Louisville. I, I don't think it'll matter, actually, who we pick in this case. It could go either way, but they're going to play Xavier next. Exactly. So, Yeah, exactly. Um, um, I have Missouri going on to win. I have Missouri, I, too. So. Yeah, they look good in the SEC tournament. Okay. All right, so we're going with Missouri? Yeah, we're going Missouri. All right. Um, this is another actually popular – Upset pick, OSU versus South Dakota State. A lot of people have South Dakota State winning. They have that center bomb, B-A-U-M. Uh, he, shoot threes like, he shoots like 42% from three, which is actually insane. They have a bunch of seniors. Um, I can honestly see them winning, but I did pick Ohio in my bracket, but it wouldn't take much to convince me. I, I picked Ohio. I just – oh. I also picked Ohio. Yeah, I got Ohio. So we're going Ohio? Mm-hmm. Okay, now we have Gonzaga, uh, North Carolina, Greensboro. I feel like this is pretty. Uh, Again, Gonzaga's gonna win. Yeah, Gonzaga wins hands down. Another tough Brandon, one. Uh, Brandon, would you like to give us some uh, insight on Gonzaga here? Uh, they're a good team, great team. They're gonna win it all, baby. Okay. No further discussion. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so Houston, San Diego State. This is a. Uh, this could go either way. In my opinion. Uh, uh, State is really hot right now. Like they're a good team. They just won their conference tournament. Uh, Houston has that. They're good. Their point guard is really good. Um, Greg, something. He's all right. I can see this game going either way. I don't. Who would you guys pick? I got San Diego uh, State. I have Houston. I flip from San Diego State to Houston a lot. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see an 11 seed get the win right there. San Diego State is hot, so what do you think, Hunter? 
ones. Uh, they're very evenly matched in terms of game. Even records in the last couple of games. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going Houston because their defense has been pretty good that I've seen. Okay, so we have two Houston, two San Diego State. Um, well, I just flip the question coin. mark. What'd you say? Flip of a coin question mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does somebody have a coin near him? Yeah, I, got uh, I don't. So we'll do heads Houston and San Diego State. Uh, all right. This famous phone flip. <laughs> all right. Heads it is. All right, we're going Houston. All right. So uh, Michigan you know, for, versus- for another bracket, we should do a uh, head sales bracket where we flip a coin for every game. Oh, that would be interesting. See how well that, yeah, that one does. Yeah. All right. Michigan, Montana. The Grizz. Montana, baby. Montana, my there is no debate. Uh, Montana. Okay. You know they're what? Jack A's because I'm a Michigan fan, so we're just going to go ahead and pick Michigan right there. Um, a and Providence. I'm actually super like – Confident that Providence wins this game. Like I feel very passionately. Um, I yeah. have I have Providence winning as well. Yep. Providence looked really good. In the- they did look good. In the yeah, game. didn't they go to the finals? They knocked on Xavier. Uh, of their um, yeah, they went to the finals conference tournament. Yeah, they did. They beat Creighton and then beat Xavier. Uh, I I I definitely think that uh, Providence is gonna. Win against uh, Texas A&M. All right, cool. So we all agree. North Carolina versus Lipscomb. The first time Lipscomb's ever been in the tournament. That's the only thing I know about that team. They North Carolina. Act by that yeah. Right there. yeah, UNC. Mm-hmm. UNC is going to. Yeah. Over Radford. We'll just do Nova real quick. All right. This is going to be an interesting one. Virginia Tech versus Alabama. I believe in Colin Sexton. Colin Sexton has looked very good in the tournament. And he comes alive in tournament time. Mm-hmm. I like Virginia Tech from a personal standpoint, but I can see why it may not be the smartest. Um, I also have Alabama going to – I have Alabama going, being an Alabama fan. But Colin Sexton, when he's hot, he's hot. And it's very hard to stop him. He's the- and uh, I, got, I got VT – VT has played a lot of really good opponents that they've beaten and matched up really well with. So, yeah, I have Virginia Tech too. Uh, VT they can beat anybody in the country. Them. I firmly believe yeah. that. They could they could lose to anybody in the country for sure. They yeah. have yeah. downs, but I agree with that. All right, so I'm willing. I'm willing yeah. to change my pick to Virginia Tech. Okay, we're going Virginia Tech. Sorry, Hunter. That's okay. All right, West Virginia versus Murray State. A lot of people like Murray State. I watched their championship game. They look solid, but West Virginia, I think, is going to uh, use their press defense, going to pressure them too much and force their uh, point guards to make mistakes. Uh, you have to have a pretty athletic point guard and a mentally tough point guard to be able to survive the press that West Virginia has and, like, break it down. And I haven't seen that on Murray State. I think they just, like, overwhelm them. Yeah, when the game. yeah I see that. West Virginia. All right. Uh, Wichita State versus Marshall. Corn people, people are saying Marshall over Wichita State. Marshall plays zero defense. Uh, I'm going to go with the corn, corn people. people. Woo! Yeah. I'm going with corn people as well. It'll be a high scoring game, though. That's actually going to be a fun one to watch. Uh, Florida versus St. Bonaventure. I think St. Bonaventure. 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 Hands down. <laughs> They're going to win. I don't see who's going to win. going to be Florida. So. Mm-hmm. St. Bond is definitely going to win that game. All right. Texas Tech versus SF Austin. I really think oh, SF Austin could upset it right here. Being completely honest. They definitely. Uh, I don't know if it's a smart pick, though. Texas Tech yeah, is. A- they're, I, I think it's very I good. Tech. They're getting back their best score, too. Texas Tech is. I think they win this game. It's just uh, 
It would be wild, St. Bonaventure versus SF Austin, 11 v. That, that'd be a crazy game to watch. What do you think, CJ? Uh, I got Texas Tech just purely off the seating. Yeah, okay. I, I get you, Hunter. Like, I wanted to pick them too, but like, we're going to go Texas Tech. Oh, just you wait, man. Yeah. Arkansas versus yeah. Butler. I have Butler winning this game. I was. Arkansas is. I also. I also have Butler winning. Yeah. What were you saying, Hunter? Arkansas straight booty cheeks. Yeah, I'm not impressed with them at all. Yeah. I, I got Butler. All right, and then Purdue versus CSU Fullerton. Uh, I gotta believe in my my boys in CSU Fullerton, but they're playing Purdue. Um, you know. That's uh, the most efficient three point shooting team in the country. They have two seven footers. Uh, Carson Edwards is a god. Matthias hits tons of threes too. That team is crazy good, but has a terrible history in the uh, NCAA tournament. But they're super good this year, so I think they definitely beat CSU Fuller too. Uh, this is actually the first one v sixteen we're going to talk about. There is a slight chance that the first. Wait. Feed upsets. Did you did you pick Fullerton? No, no, no. Okay, I was just making sure because I'm I'm writing in Penn. No, no, we picked Purdue. Um, all right, so Kansas versus Penn. Um, uh, Penn actually does match up pretty well against Kansas. Uh, they're good oh, yeah. bending the three point line. They're like lanky. Kansas relies on the three point shot a lot. Um, they've got some bigs that can get rebounds if Kansas's threes aren't falling. So if Kansas doesn't come out to play, they could be the first ever one seed to lose. Really? You think yeah, so? They're also averaging like 90 points a game in Kansas is, and they have a crazy good offense. And just pure athleticism alone should be able to have them get a victory. But if we're feeling super risky. Um, I think we play it with Kansas. <laughs> I think Kansas, it's. Cool. I, I, I honestly think Kansas is gonna win. I just I don't see. I I don't see Plus, Penn beating Kansas. I just I want to pick Penn so bad because Kansas is not. I've not been impressed with Kansas this year. They have not played a big century. Yeah, they they uh, a lot of. I was I really fell in love with Kansas over the Big Twelve tournament and how good they looked then. I was super impressed with that personally, but I can see what you're saying. All right, so now uh, Seton Hall versus NC State. Uh, oh. I have Seton Hall. I have Seton Hall. NC State played not great at all in the ACC tournament. I wasn't impressed. Yeah. Seton Hall, Angel yeah. Logan, yeah. Dean Carrington. They got a lot of playmakers. Mm-hmm. And then uh, uh, just- New Mexico State, 12-5 again. I think New Mexico State wins this game. Clemson's big man got suspended. Oh, he did? The same team. Or hurt. And then they had other players who were suspended. Um, so they're, so. They're, not, they're not in their best shape at the moment. Exactly. But. They're shallow. They're shallow so. mm-hmm. um, I, I could take a risk with going with New Mexico State. Yeah. All right. yeah um, I agree. Charleston, a lot of people, there are some, uh, not a lot, but there are some people saying Charleston will get the win right here. What do you, oh, okay. so I've watched Auburn all year. They've played very good when I've seen them play. All right, so we're going. Yeah, to Auburn. Yeah. In the, Auburn winning. Yeah, in the champion or the SEC tournament, I believe Auburn come back out and just play, play like they played during the season. So, okay, so we have versus Arizona State or Syracuse. Arizona State, I'm assuming, is a team. I actually have Syracuse winning this. I have Arizona opinion. State winning this, in my opinion. And I'm also beating TCU in my personal bracket. But you remember right, what happened to Arizona State? Auburn for the last pick? Yeah, we did. We decided on Auburn. Hmm. I have Syracuse winning that game, and I have Syracuse beating TCU. <laughs> Yeah, I have Arizona State winning that game and beating PCU, so we both have PCU. Uh, I, I also like Arizona State if they win. All right, so even though it's not set in stone, I think we're going to go with that one over PCU. Uh, and then Michigan State versus Bucknell. This would oh. be crazy. Oh, hang on a what? second. We have, uh, we, we have uh, Syracuse beating TCU. 
I have Arizona. Me and CJ have Arizona State. CJ or Hunter has Syracuse. But basically, the winner of that game is beating DC. Mm-hmm. Son of a bitch. All right, so we're picking. So we're picking Syracuse. Yes. Is, is that what we're trying to say? Yeah, whoever the, the 11 seed is, we pick. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, now we have Rhode Island, CJ's team versus Oklahoma. This is an Oklahoma team that a lot of people said shouldn't even be in the tournament. Uh, they should not. Uh, I got Michigan State. Oh, we, we already went through that one. Yeah, oh, I, I'm How about sorry. the Rhode Island game right now? Um. And I have Rhode Island winning. I have the Raiders. Yeah, I definitely struggled their I, I, Yeah, I have Rhode Island. I, have Rhode Island I, I definitely fear this game, but I got to go with my team for at least one round, right? Yeah, exactly. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Oklahoma found a way to win, just yeah. just because I've been so underimpressed with how they've been playing recently. Freaking Trey Young is about to drop 52. He honestly could drop drop 40 easily. 50 all right, and Duke and Iona, are we all? I got Duke. Fucking Duke. I got Iona because Duke's freaking asshole. <laughs> I feel like that's a biased perspective. We're just gonna. Make I'm gonna it. go get a charger. Uh, you guys can continue on. Okay. Uh, Virginia versus Creighton. I mean, that's pretty obvious in my opinion. Virginia. that? Virginia is gonna win that one. Let's see. Kentucky versus Arizona. This is actually an interesting matchup. I feel like Kentucky is playing their best basketball right now. Um, I have Arizona winning that game, though, personally. I have Arizona winning. They looked really good in their tournament. Yeah, they look angry. They play angry after all those allegations and stuff. I like that. I also got uh, Arizona. All right. We're going Arizona over Kentucky. That is going to set up a very interesting matchup in the Sweet 16. Team. Loyola Chicago or Tennessee? Now, I personally have Loyola Chicago winning this game, but I could see Tennessee pulling out a victory pretty easily. Oh, yeah. I have Loyola Tennessee. Chicago. Chicago will get their one game. I feel like Tennessee <laughs> will put the hammer down on them in this one. Mm-hmm. And then again, I really like Tennessee's coach and his ability to prepare for that type of game. Um, so, Loyola Chicago Road ends there. Uh, Texas versus Cincinnati. I mean, Cincinnati. They it's just like, poker offense from Texas against like a great, great defense and a very physical team. This will be a physical matchup. Uh, I have Cincinnati winning. Uh, right. Right. Yeah, so do I. All right. All right. I apologize for the like cutout. You're good. Uh, for your bracket, we picked. Uh, Virginia, Arizona, Tennessee, and Cincinnati to win. All right, you, uh, you, uh, UVA, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Arizona. Arizona. Oh, Arizona. My bad. Tennessee, and then Cincinnati over Texas. All right. All right. Now we got Xavier versus Missouri. Ooh. Weakest number one seed, but I have them winning. Oh, yeah. We're all. Xavier. Yeah. Really wanted to like the Xavier team. They got Trayvon Blewett. They got Makura. Both seniors, both really good. I just, they just disappointed me big time. Uh, so we're going with uh, Xavier? In the tournament. Yeah. yeah, we're going with Xavier. Uh, Ohio versus Gonzaga. I think uh, Gonzaga I, wins this game. Gonzaga's going to win. And just to purely play it safe, I mean, the ch- it, then since there's a decent chance South Dakota State wins this game, might as well play it. Because if South Dakota State did win, then Gonzaga would definitely win. Okay. And then you don't have Ohio being lost twice in our bracket. So, <laughs> Houston, Michigan. Houston is a popular upset pick over Michigan. I see that. I think they're going to win. What do you guys think? I think Michigan will win. Yeah, I got them winning. Okay. Uh, Providence over UNC. I think Providence can make it close, but I have UNC winning this game. I have UNC winning this yeah. game. It, it, if Providence and UNC do play, um, it's definitely going to be close. But um, I'm excited. I hope they do because that would be a very interesting matchup. Yeah. All right. So now we have Villanova versus Virginia Tech. Um, I think we're all going to go Villanova. In yeah. my bracket, I do have Virginia Tech winning. And it like 
it's one of those picks where you have no reasoning behind it, and it'll probably it, just it happen. Like, but it's just, it, like, I felt it, and I like can't shake it, so I'm just gonna leave it. But in this one, we're trying to win, so we'll do Villanova <laughs> over Virginia Tech right there. Uh, this is actually yeah, really we're we're going Villanova. We're yep. going Villanova. If, the, if someone calls Villanova Villanova, they're winning your bracket. <laughs> Easy. Um, I have corn people winning. Yeah, I also have Wichita State winning, yeah, but I'm also people. like West Virginia is pretty good. Yeah, that press defense is suffocating. So everybody has Wichita State. I guess we're going Wichita State. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've been outvoted. Uh, St. Bonaventure versus Texas Tech. Do the Bonnies continue their run or? No, I have Texas Tech. I think they do. Ooh, okay. I really um, want. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was like, I really like emotionally, like in this very second, I want to pick St. Bonaventure to beat Texas Tech. I can't even lie. Like, just for the story, like, there's no reason behind it. I was impressed with how they played against UCLA, but UCLA isn't like a super good team. Texas Tech is a heck of a lot better. Yeah. But like I just kind of want to pick them for no reason other than chaos. So what do you think, Brandon? This is my excuse. Oh, okay. So we'll just go say Bonaventure because he can't defend it. Uh Butler versus Purdue. I'm like very confident Purdue will win this game. I'm very confident in Purdue. They've looked- See, I have Butler. And I feel like Butler could win. I think they definitely could. Um, I think what it comes down to is the experience uh, yeah. of not only uh, Purdue's team, but Matt Painter, their coach. They've gone out early a bunch. I think they're determined, and they have the playmakers to do it this year. You look at Butler with Laval Jordan, a first-year coach, a first-year head coach. Um, they could definitely put a wrench in people's plans, but at the end of the day, if it's coming down to who's drawing up what plays in the last two minutes, I trust Matt Painter and Purdue over him. Yeah, pick Purdue. Mm-hmm. That's kind of why I went that way. Uh, so now we have Kansas versus Seton Hall. I think this is an interesting matchup as well. All right. I think I think if any one seed is going to lose in the round of 32, it's going to be Kansas. Yeah. I would say Xavier, but I can see what you're saying. All right. Uh, I apologize. Uh, my uh, call cut out. Uh, I'm still at the Bonnie game. Do we have Texas Tech? Oh, yeah. We, have, we had St. Bonnie's winning that. Uh, okay. Does and then we had Purdue beating Butler. Okay. Uh I feel like from a strategy point, putting Kansas above Seton Hall makes sense because there's a decent chance NC State wins that game, and we wouldn't want to lose out on too many points. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So we could play it safe with the Kansas pick, even though I wouldn't even be surprised if they did yeah. lose to Seton Hall. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised, but Seton Hall disappointed me last year. So. That it, yeah, they let me down. Uh, New Mexico State versus Auburn. I could see this game going either way, actually. Uh, but I have Auburn beating them. Yeah. Just Auburn's defense isn't that good in the second half. Watch. Who do you have on her? Oh, I want to. I'm probably gonna go Auburn just to for points reasons. But right, let you see, Jay. Yeah, I think I'll go Auburn just because they're the larger team. Mm-hmm. I've been outvoted. They have a really good offense, so that's probably why I would pick them is because they're just overrun New Mexico. Oh, man, we're chalking. No, we got to save Bonnie. We got a little bit of a Cinderella story right there. All right, so Arizona State or Syracuse, or are we going to pick Michigan State? No, nah, we got we to gotta pick Michigan State. It's, it's mm-hmm. too risky to – Try and pick either team because we're not sure who's going to come out exactly. for that game and beat TCU. I agree. So, with that. I, I think we got to try and play it safe and go Michigan State. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Um, now we got Rhode Island versus Duke. Can Rhode Island do the impossible? Or no, is Duke winning this game? Duke wins. Double Duke digit. wins <laughs> from the Double Rhode digits. Island. Team. Yeah, I, I got Duke winning. Okay. I just picked Rhode Island next. Okay, there we go. There's Duke. Um, okay, now we have UVA versus Arizona. In my opinion, the most intriguing matchup if it were to happen. One of the most of the entire tournament. Like, 
you have the defensive Virginia going up against the bigs, uh, DeAndre Ayton. Oh, my God, what a matchup that would be. That would be crazy. Uh, I personally have Arizona, but I know a lot of you guys have Virginia for what we were talking about earlier. I have Arizona actually winning this. Okay, you have Arizona too. What about you guys? I, also, uh, I, I have UVA, but, you know, honestly. The thing is, with UVA in their tournament, it was a very easy side. It was a very easy tournament for them. Well, you also got to look at that UNC was playing pretty terrible. Like They were playing really it, bad. Especially second half. Like, they kind of fell apart near the end, and mm-hmm. that's where the gap in the score came. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I know what you mean by that. UVA definitely had an edge. They so. had a very easy tournament. So, I have Arizona winning. Arizona really impressed me with their – they played angry. They played with that fire. And I think that fire. All will... these allegations coming out against them, they they yeah. really didn't play the style of play that I was impressed with. They play with the chip on your shoulder, and sometimes that's what you need in this tournament. There's mm-hmm. a lot of emotions going into these games, and so if you have that kind of an edge, in my opinion, well, so we're gonna go Arizona. Yes, yep. I'm fine with that. Yep. All right. So uh, Tennessee versus Cincinnati. No, nah, I, 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 I believe Cincinnati's going to win. I honestly do as well. Yeah, as, as much as Tennessee is good, I just I don't think they're going to beat Cincinnati. I agree with that. Um, all right, so we got Xavier versus Gonzaga. I think this is an extremely interesting matchup. And honestly, if it comes down, if there's thirty, if there's ten seconds left, and Xavier has the ball. Xavier's winning the game. They're going to give it to Trayvon Blewett, the, one of the most clutch, clutch players in college basketball history, and they're going to go out and win that game. Uh, if it's a tight one, I think Xavier wins it, but I don't think it'll be a tight one. I think Gonzaga wins. But if it does come down to the wire, I mean, I don't see how you could pick against Xavier. Crazy. I, I have to go with my team. That's my opinion. But, uh, you know. Yeah, I'm, I go with Gonzaga too, in my opinion. A yeah, lot of athletes. And... I feel like Gonzaga could do it. Yeah. Like they lost a lot of people, but they uh, somehow they found a way to not really step back that much. Michigan, North Carolina. Um, All right, I guess I'm just going to make my p- case real quick and get shot down. Michigan and North Carolina played earlier in the season. North Carolina won by 15 points. At that point in the season, Michigan didn't have a true point guard. We were starting Eli Brooks, who hasn't seen the court since that day, and our offense just wasn't where it is now. Um, Beeline, John Beeline, Michigan's coach, also prepares really well for these games. And if he gets to play a team a second time, he usually does not mess it up. Um, you can just give the Purdue game, for example. When he got to play that team multiple times, he, he found a way to beat them when it looked like we couldn't, no matter how about, uh, how well we played. Mm-hmm. I also think that Michigan's defense, which is really good, is I think Michigan's similar to a Virginia team. Um and that was due, or North Carolina's kryptonite in the ACC tournament. Um, yeah. I said, yeah. though, the smart pick is UNC. But uh, Michigan matches up well against North Carolina specifically, in my opinion. This is a good matchup. I mean, I- regardless of what happens, um, I, I could go either pick. I would be fine with either one. Uh, I, I want to go with Michigan just simply because – like you said, they've played them before, and you you definitely learn from losses more than you do from winning. So I, I true, especially what happened to Alabama against Auburn. Auburn swept us in the regular season, and then we beat Auburn by twenty. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, go with Michigan. Okay, yeah. cool. I was not expecting that to be honest. <laughs> All right, so now we have. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess we move back up here, yeah. Uh, right. Nah, um, corn people are dying. I'm sorry. All right. People are not dying. Nova loses. They're, they're going to get burned. No. <laughs> Which t- the corn people will win this game. Ooh, Hunter yeah, sounds confident, too. I have, I have not been impressed with Nova. You think? You're, I mean. That's quite the statement. They have the P- national player of the year in Jalen yeah. Wilson. And their big man is one of the biggest or best big men in the country. And they are the number one team in 
offensive efficiency this year. Um, I think they start out the year a little shaky, but I don't know. They look really good right now. I, I got I got to go with the safe. But I will though. admit, Hunter's confidence, I don't know. What are you saying, There's something CJ? you know that we don't, Hunter? Tiebreaker. As much as I love the corn people, Nova's Nova at the end of the day. They got the tournament experience. They were yeah, they definitely runner, do. Runners they definitely up last year? They, no, they lost yeah. early last year. Two years ago, they won. Yeah. But Yep. Exactly. I feel like I feel like it's, you gotta go with Nova. They're just all right. So we'll go Nova. St. Bonnie's versus Purdue. Uh, I we uh, date or no? This where St. Bonnie's. I, I I got the Bonnie's run ending. Done. Yeah, I got the the road ends there for uh, St. Bonnie Bonnie's. Uh, yeah. All right. So we got Villanova Purdue. We just chalked that East region up pretty well, guys. You think so? Yeah, we finished one and two seed. For now. Oh great! <laughs> oh wait! Oh, I just realized. <laughs> you know, oh, uh, holy honestly, crap. there's no turning back now. We're just gonna. Yeah, roll. Nah. Yeah. All right, so now we have Kansas versus Auburn. Uh, I have Kansas beating Auburn for sure. Just their offense. Yeah, yeah me too. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. And then, oh god, are we gonna chuck it again? Michigan State versus Duke. I personally pick Duke, but a lot of people are high on Michigan State. I've been so unimpressed with Michigan State this whole season that I'd say two things before you guys made your decision, uh, before we made our decision. Uh, Tom Izzo, Michigan State's coach, is 1-11 versus Duke. They did play earlier in the year, year and, and Duke did win a tight game. I still think Duke will win. I just – that, stati- that statistic is not very good. Yeah, no, it's not great. Yeah, what do you guys think? We're going to chalk up another one and two. We're chalking it up again. Okay. I mean, it's, one it's, of them's got to make it that far, right? No. I. I it just depends. Yeah, I feel like Michigan bucks, State Kansas has an easier way path. Way other oh, than Kansas could lose to Penn. I mean, and Duke could lose to Rhode Island. All you yeah, have to that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you look at it from a standpoint of who has the easier path to – the uh, Sweet 16 is that um, Michigan State, they're playing – they're going to play Bucknell. Like, Michigan State clearly has more tournament uh, experience, so they're going to they're gonna weed out Bucknell. They're going to lose. Uh, then they're going to go f- against either Syracuse team that's probably going to lose if Syracuse wins against uh, ASU. But, I mean, like, that game could go either way, so it, it doesn't really matter because Michigan State's going to beat them. You know what I mean? You're saying their easier road helps them against Duke or hurts them? No, I'm just saying in, in a case that either team wouldn't make it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I feel what you're saying. Um, One thing I did want to say, because this is kind of a tips for you guys, too, I would not chalk it up like we did right here. Some kind oh, of no. happen. And there will pr- – the chances of a one and two in one of these regions – is up there. I, I could see it happening, but in two, like we have them, try to justify it as much as you can justify doing that. Um, or maybe it's just that you're the ones and twos, or exactly. I mean, maybe like the uh, East is the only one we have one and twos. We have a four and a two and a four and a three. Yeah, it's right, the East we, got one. Last we have ones and twos. So. Right. I, I would be okay with picking Michigan State just based off of that, but I could – I mean, like, Duke is a strong team. I mean, I wouldn't consider the one to three anything crazy, too. Uh, another I mean, it's, At this point, know. it doesn't matter, like, what seed they are at this point. They yeah, made it in this but there has been once at one six or below seed in just about every Final Four. We haven't really set ourselves up for that. We have a four seed. That's the closest. Two fours. But – at the same time, there's not a whole lot of teams that. The, it, it, there's no team that like is a six seed and under that has like truly impressed me enough to go against these larger teams, these higher seeds, and to win multiple games. One of the only them. ones I can see is West Virginia maybe making a run. I, I mean, like like I said, St. Bonaventure could could definitely like compete against Duke or not Duke, but uh, Purdue. That's true. Maybe a sixteen. But Purdue's such a strong team. 
That's like, you know what I mean? Exactly. Um, but, uh, again, like you said, Virginia Tech could definitely beat anybody, but they're 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 going against Villanova. And uh, that West Virginia game against Wichita State could go either way as well. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I, I don't know. No, I think we roll with it. I was just kind of telling the people watching. Mm-hmm. Sometimes going, going chalk is probably your safest bet, especially if you want to secure a top five spot. Uh, you probably do decently well if you go higher seeds. Uh, this is one of those years where there's no clear number one seed favorite, but there's also yeah. not a lot of teams. Honestly, we, we could probably do a coin toss pick on this one. Arizona versus Cincinnati, you mean? Yeah. Oh, this would be an extremely physical game. I have Arizona. And I think a nitty, like a gritty physical game would normally go to Cincinnati, but I mean, like that anger that I was saying, that uh, chip on their shoulder. I don't know. I think Arizona wins this one, to be honest. I think yeah. Arizona wins this one. Yeah. They're all going Zona. And then we have Villanova and Purdue. Uh, it, that would be quite the matchup, too. Two very yeah. teams. When you look at them, they're very disciplined. But you also got to take into account, this is probably where they're going to choke against a team they could 100% beat. They, like, you know, I... They play really sloppy. They, 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 could, they could play sloppy. Like, I mean, like I said, if they're playing St. Bonaventure, they could be like, this is an 11 seed. We're clearly better than them. They could, they could slip up. So, if... St. Bonaventure makes it a super close game, and Purdue just barely makes it out. They're going to be a bit shaken against a very clearly strong Villanova team. Yeah, so, I can... you know, th- this is all like theoretical in the case that Bonnie gets to the Sweet Sixteen to to hopefully play against Purdue. In our case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. All right, so we got Arizona winning that game. Um, now it's Gonzaga versus Michigan. Who do you guys have in that one? I, I got to go with the Bulldogs, sir. All right, what about you guys? Right now, I have Michigan. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now. Okay, my thing is I always put my team one game farther than I think they'll go. I have them beating Gonzaga one game farther than I think they'll go. Mm-hmm. Honestly, if Michigan can get past North Carolina, I, it's interesting because you have Gonzaga, a team that is really great offensively, puts up a lot of points. Their points per possession are crazy good, and mm-hmm. you up against the stout defense of Michigan and see what happens. It come down to Michigan having to play a really, really clean offensive game. Which mm-hmm. is something that there Michigan has is prone to going five minutes without scoring a basket, and if that ever happened at any point against Gonzaga, they'd strike on that and they would get. But you also have to look that Gonzaga beating Xavier, a number one seed, having that momentum coming into the Michigan game, could definitely help them. Yeah, I feel like you can present just as much of an argument as momentum for Michigan. It's a team that mm-hmm. four games yeah, definitely, four games definitely. to win the Big Ten and then for a second straight year uh, make it to chip on their shoulder, feel underrated, but Gonzaga has more of that this year. Everybody's yeah. counting Gonzaga out because they lost everybody they lost, but they're a really solid team. Mm-hmm. Um, this is honestly a game where like I don't know what's ha- I I don't know. I've picked Michigan. CJ said he has Michigan. Hunter, who do you have? Oh yeah, Michigan in this. All right, so by majority rule, we'll put Michigan, Michigan. on the floor. Uh, <laughs> now, Kansas and Duke. What do you guys think about this game? Duke about the butt fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kansas. I, I, I don't Kansas. think Kansas is going to hold up after uh, the Elite Eight. What do you think, CJ? Uh, I've talked about Kansas not winning out of the sweet, out of the round of 32, so I'm going to go Duke. Yeah, a lot of – you guys are Kansas haters, man, but we will go do – I choke. like Kansas a lot this year. Uh, but I also – it's very unwar- – it's it's unwarranted, I'll admit it. I kind of just yeah. – if 
fell in love with their Big 12 tourney run, and that's my only justification. I could definitely see Duke. <laughs> uh, Villanova versus Purdue. Who do you guys got? Nova. Yeah, I, I gotta go with Nova. One hundred percent. Put them in this matchup, and I think they win. I, I I definitely think Villanova's gonna win. All right, Arizona versus Michigan in the Final Four. Now this is I have this matchup in my bracket. I have Arizona beating Michigan. Oh, I have Arizona. Win. Yeah, I I think Arizona's gonna definitely put that aggressive offense against uh, Michigan and uh, win. Yeah. I will say this, though. If North Carolina or Gonzaga plays Arizona, I would take them. Mm. That's what I'm saying. I honestly believe that. I don't know. I think whoever wins that North Carolina-Michigan game goes to the Final Four. Yeah, I, okay, like, the way I see it is that the Sweet 16 in the West is going to definitely impact the entire tournament. Like, yeah, hands down, it's, it's definitely going to – crucial uh, games. I agree with that. And I think – I agree with CJ, too. I think if Arizona matched up against Gonzaga, I think Gonzaga's mm. – to be able to beat Arizona. Um, but since it is Michigan there that – I mean, we, like, Michigan, Michigan could definitely oh, yeah. beat Arizona, but I just feel like Arizona's going to be aggressive against you guys. And like you said, you you've seen – Michigan not score a basket in five minutes. That could definitely yeah, that can't happen against Arizona. Ace. Exactly, yeah. So I I have Arizona. Yeah, I think we have. I think we agree with the Arizona. And then Villanova versus Duke. I have Nova winning this game for sure. Oh, I also have Villanova. Hundred percent. Um, and then Villanova Arizona. If Villanova gets this far, I can't see them losing in the national championship game. Yeah. I'd have Villanova winning it. I I yeah. Okay. I should. All right, and final score we're gonna have to do sixty nine. Four twenty to six. No, we we gotta come up with a, a legit score, like seventy six sixty nine. Okay, so I have seventy four sixty nine. I'm gonna go seventy seven seventy three. No, nah, I don't think it'll be that close. I think Villanova wins comfortable, like more comfortably. I actually have Arizona, so. Oof. What what about sixty eight Arizona, seventy five Villanova? Okay. That's sixty nine doesn't count. Yeah, I think we should do sixty nine. All right. All right. So All right. we got Arizona scoring sixty nine points. In losing. What about Villanova? That's a high scoring uh, national championship game. All right. How much is Nova scoring? 75. Wait, no, Nova's scoring 75. Zona's. All right. Yeah, 69. Right. Um, okay, real quickly, or not real quickly, but now I wanted to, you guys to give your top, we'll say top three upset picks. Uh, I'll go first. My number one is going to have to be New Mexico State. I like them a lot. I think they can definitely beat Clemson. And then I personally think they can beat Auburn. My number two team would be the uh, probably Loyola Chicago beating Miami. I don't know if they can beat Tennessee, but I do think they can beat Miami. Um, and then my third would have to be, even though I didn't pick them, South Dakota State over Ohio. Uh, I think St. Bonnie's could make a run for sure, but yeah. I, South Dakota State is intriguing to me. I'm not ballsy enough to pick them over Ohio, but they have all the keys needed to have that 12-5 offset. Yeah. All right, so, so jump in. So for my bracket, uh, I for an upset, I have Texas over Nevada. I, I truly believe that that could go either way, but I think Texas is going to come out on top. Uh, another one that I had was uh, Providence over Texas A and M. Uh, Providence is definitely oh for a strong, sure. Providence should definitely, definitely a strong team. team. I feel like just simply because of the conferences that they're in, A and M got oh, seated higher than Providence, but uh, the way that they've played, they, like their seeds could have switched easily. Yeah. Um, uh, for my final one, um, I gotta go St. Bonnie's uh, over Florida. Okay, there's that. And, um, 
But I, but yeah. in my bracket, I actually have them losing to Texas Tech, and you know, so. Gotcha. My biggest upset is. SF Austin over Texas Tech. I could honestly see it, bro. And I picked SF Austin two years ago once against West Virginia, and they won. And I felt so accomplished, and I wanted to do it again, but I couldn't bring myself to it. But I could definitely see that they uh, they have a lot of experience on the SF Austin team. They do. Yeah. And then my second one in my bracket is um. St. Uh, Bonnie's over Florida, but I haven't really felt confident in Florida all year, so I don't really like to see that as an upset, but mm-hmm. based off seeding, it's an upset. So, Gotcha. And then, did you say three or two? That was my second one. And then my third one is probably Providence. Providence. Yeah. Okay, that's all about it. Just because of the seeding. All right. Uh, CJ, what are your three? Uh, hold on, let me charge it. All right. My three big upsets definitely Wright State. Wright State over Tennessee is a legit possibility. Okay. I feel Wright State. I don't know. I mean, I also. That's one I haven't heard. No, I haven't heard much, but I can see it. I just don't like Tennessee. That might be half the reason. But okay, respectable. Right state. Uh, the Butler Bulldogs. I called them to uh, yeah. Yeah. and go pretty far in the in their tournament, the Big East. I feel like Butler can make Sweet Sixteen, possibly Elite Eight. Oh. Okay. And the other one is the winner of the NC State versus who's who are they playing Seton Hall. NC State Seton Hall, yep. I feel like the winner of that game, with Kansas being the one say, a uh, once, oh my god, <laughs> seed, they uh, they have the winner of that game is a legit possibility to make the Elite Eight. Gotcha. I can see that happening too. Um, those are some solid picks. I agree with all that. Um, any other advice for people making their brackets? Uh, the less you know, the better you do. I agree it's with that. It's not going to be a one versus one. I can and do not it. second guess uh, you. Don't don't put uh, all one seeds in the final four. Don't that do that. Never happened. Yes, I would not do uh, that. Also, be careful if you're going to try and do a 16 seed over a one seed. Pick carefully because that has also never happened. Yeah, um, the only one I could see you even conceiving of would be Penn would over Penn, Kansas. Kansas. Yeah. If you're thinking of any other 16 one, no, stop what you're doing. Get some help. Golden <laughs> yeah. All the way. All right, watch us talk all this like confidently and radford just destroys nova <laughs> exactly um i would crap dude i i, I think i would be, uh, quit it's gonna be a crazy fun play. tournament i definitely pick a mid-major team when i say mid-major i mean like an sf austin um, yeah a team like that a new mexico state a st bonnie's that you can latch on to because mm-hmm. that team wins and you per- guess it right it's honestly the best feeling yeah actually it's like, a crazy you know, good feeling also uh Try to pick some upsets. Have fun with it. Don't second guess yourself too many times. Don't overthink it. Don't, I, also, I, don't be the type of person to pick all the high seeds because that that's it's just not fun. Right. It's, it's not it's fun. So boring. But the like, bracket like is I a said, rooting guy. I will say, if you're playing for money, definitely like consider that. Like, yeah, want to win, but like also, it's it's not going to be, you know, an eight seed always being a nine seed or a five seed beating a twelve seed. Mm-hmm. That that just like. It's always happened to where there's going to be an upset. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Have fun with your picks. the The bracket should be kind of like a rooting guide when you're watching the yeah. games. And if you have fun with your picks and you really like latch onto these teams and these underdog stories, when you get them right, it feels really good. And you like. And, and you can you can play. brag about that. Like you could say, "I believed in this team, and they." I picked it right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And oh, people man. who will say, "Well, you're probably just you know saying that because." Everybody else picked that, and you were just like, "Whatever, I'll pick these guys." But like, if you like truly like believe that that's going to happen, and you get it right, it's it's honestly you 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 honestly feel like you've won the entire thing. Yeah, exactly. It's a pretty good feeling. Also, I'd say if you're doing a bracket pool like a group of people, find out what everybody else is picking. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Try to strategically make some differences. Um, yeah, like if you if they have 
let's go to the uh, NC State Seton Hall game. If you want to be different from them and they pick NC State, then go ahead and pick Seton Hall because that game could go either way. Yeah, the eight uh, ones, the close ones like that. Yeah, for sure. Another one is Missouri Florida State. Like you could go either way with that as well. Exactly, I'd say that's a good one. Um, if everybody's going South Dakota State, you got a lot of twelve upset heavy people. Go for Ohio. Go for that five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That game or that, vice versa. That, everybody's going Ohio. Maybe try going uh, South Dakota State. Try to get that. Mm-hmm. That's also that game could go either way. In those 50-50 games, choose some of them differently to try to get an edge. Mm-hmm. But also, like, if say everybody's picking the five seed over the twelve seed, and you're not very confident in your pick, go ahead and go with them because no matter what, you're gonna have the same points as them, and that is the, like add exactly. Up the game. Yeah, if you're super unconfident or super unsure of it. Um, don't do that. Also, another thing, don't listen. Every single article and podcast and TV show it's that you watch, opinionated. it's not, yeah. it'll contradict itself too. If yeah. you watch some of these teams in the tournament and you say, I don't like them, um, and everybody's reading off how good their stats are, but they didn't pass the eye test, don't go with them. Or if nobody's talking about them and they do pass the eye test, go for them. The eye test is a huge thing that people, not enough people use. Everybody's going off statistics and stuff, which is obviously important. But as they're playing, like how they're playing as of late is definitely a determining factor. And if you see that, well, in- like also you got to consider consistency, like especially in statistic wise, uh, if they have a really good game that like was insanely like high scoring and they scored like, I don't know, like 120 points. This is, this is like not true at all, but like, and their points per game goes up like five points then it like truly is. You got to look at like most of the games that they've played. You also got to look at the teams that they've beat and or played and how close those games were. Like, you can't just go off seeds. Like, who has the higher seed? Because that's that's just a exactly, way of yeah. picking your teams. Yep. Um, anything else? Uh, um, anything else? I don't have anything. All right, so are we going to uh, – are we good to end it? Anything um, else to say? I think we're good. Oh, I have one more thing to say. Um, the uh, UMBC retrievers are going to win uh, no matter what, no matter who they're going to play. Up. The score is going to end 420 to uh, 69. Uh, Golden retrievers are going to win. Oh, geez. Okay, and then I wanted to say you guys are invited, or everybody's invited to come over and watch the games tomorrow if you guys want to. All right, definitely, definitely. We'll try to film some reactions and stuff and put a little compilation. Dude, like, we, we got to, like, especially, like, last-minute games – like, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, like get our reaction. the final minute of a game, and if it gets super crazy, we're going to have, like, a genuine reaction. So Exactly, and then that. we'll make a little that, video. That'll, about that'll be a fun video to watch. Oh, so, yeah, like, we'll do that on like, Thursday like, and Friday. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos. And one more thing. We, we also do, may do – Do not trust things. Matthew. We, we may also yeah. do <laughs> – I don't want to do this. I personally don't want to do this, but we could do bets, and we could record a bet before a game. Or we could do – we have a certain – we have a certain amount of people who are watching the game, pick one team, and the other picks the other, and whoever comes oh, on Oh, the top. chicken nugget bets are happening. The nugget bets are happening. There's oh, no way to avoid them. So we'll definitely – Yeah, uh, yeah. we're, we're, we're going to keep it interesting. But like I said, we could – we could um, – we'll, we'll figure out a way to pick teams. Like three people will pick – like we're not going to do it with every game, but like – like I said, like close games, like that could go either way. We could do Seton Hall or NC State or Missouri, Florida State. Uh, we'll we'll have people who think one team will win or people who pick another team, and then we'll compete. I guess you could say against each other, and whoever's team loses does a challenge. Or yeah, exactly. Uh, we'll definitely do some stuff like that. Yeah, try to keep it interesting. Mm-hmm. And like the whole goal is to keep it entertaining for exactly. So yeah, definitely. Uh. Subscribe if you haven't already while we do this. There's going to be a bunch of March Madness content yep. while the tournament's rolling out. Um, it should be pretty entertaining. So, All right. I, I think that covers it personally. Everybody good? Anybody want to plug anything like their Instagram or anything in case the video goes crazy viral? Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. The way I'm, I'm good. I don't want crazy people following me. On- <laughs> Yes. I, I don't want all shit. twenty. I don't, I don't want see. all twenty subscribers. Yeah, yeah. At once. Gotcha. Um, yeah. If you're watching this seriously stupid shit, YT on Instagram. That's our official mm-hmm. Instagram. We post when we upload sometimes and stuff like that. You can stay updated. Watch out for the stories to uh, 
let you guys know when a video is up. Exactly. Um, good luck on your brackets, guys. You too. All right, you too, man. You guys next. I, I, I really hope that the bracket we made does really well. That would be dope. Yeah.